Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am taking you with me on holiday to the Forest of Dean here in the United Kingdom. So I went away with my mum and my girlfriend to a little cabin. I'm not going to talk through this entire video by the way, I just want to tell you a little bit about some of the different places that we went and that sort of thing. So at the moment I'm just taking you on a tour around the cabin. This was actually the bath bomb that I got with one of the World of Wizardry boxes. But we, don't, we don't have a bath in my house here in High Wycombe, so I took, I waited and took it away with me. So these were the bedrooms, and they had these walk-in wardrobes that were absolutely massive. I mean, the place we stayed was bigger than my entire house. All of the links to all of these things will be below by the way, so if you want to check out any of the destinations to find out more. Right now we're in Monmouth. That's my mum in front of me there. So as you can see, this is Monmouth Museum, and uh, shout out to Richardson Reads. This is the kind of place that he'd love because it's just full of maritime history. A lot of stuff about Nelson in here, and also just the shipbuilding industry and that kind of thing. Shout out to Todd there as well. I graffitied his name on a, on a piece of on a chalkboard for for no reason really. I just felt like it. Hey kitty. Hello. They run it, they're running, they're running, oh, Chasing run, 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 go on mate, have a little dip, <laughs> hello, so this is at a place called Puzzlewood and it's said that this is where J.R.R. Tolkien got much of an inspiration for the, the forest of Middle Earth from, and you'll see why as we go around, that cat was called Banksy by the way, hello, you can see here that there's a fisheye effect and that's me in the background. You're right down there, mate. Oh, a little mouth twitch. That's because I gave Becca a camera and asked if she would do some filming as well. Good. Oh my goodness. Oh god, it goes upstairs. How's life, Mr. Bunny? Good. So this is the entrance to the actual woods part of it. Be prepared to see a lot of green in the next five minutes.
good news is you can always spot my mom by her bright red coat. I don't know if she wore that deliberately so that we wouldn't lose her. Welcome to my secret abode. You shall not pass! Don't ask me why I did this. It seemed like a fun idea at the time. Oh, I found him. Sleep under a rock. So it's my understanding that as well as inspiring part of Tolkien's forests of, of Middle Earth, uh, th this is also where they shot some of one of the new Star Wars movies as well. You can see why it'd be a popular choice as a, as a filming location. It was also a kind of a quieter day when we went as well because we went during the week and we hardly saw anybody else as we were walking around. Don't mind me just stumbling up a hill. Back with Banksy the cat. Where are you going? What are you doing?
Biggie wasn't happy because when I got home my bag smelled of another cat. So this was the craft center that we went to. It was called Taurus Crafts. And you might notice this is all shot on the camera with a fisheye lens and that's because I accidentally left the memory card for my other camera back at the cottage. It was just a nice little craft village, you know, I bought a few bits and bobs. I actually, you can see my mom there, she's got her, uh, she's got her knitting wool. I also bought a uh, case as well, which I'll show you in a minute. So we stopped off here for a quick coffee and while we were at it I thought I'd read some of uh, How to Break a Dragon's Heart, which is one of the How to Train Your Dragon books. This was one of the days when I read three books in one day. So this is the little case that I bought. And it was 17 pounds, I believe, which is equivalent to maybe 20, 25 dollars. But I'm using it to keep all my writing bits and bobs in. And then finally, this was on our last day, and this is the Dean Heritage Center. And it has all kinds of stuff here, really. I don't know what it is, there's just something about the sound of running water that I really like. That's why I kept the sound in on those video clips. But anyway, here we are, we are off on the Gruffalo Trail. We also have some bird feed as well. This is me showing that I have a spare battery, just in case. Because there's a lot to see here. We're off on the Gruffalo Trail. Oh, he has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. I've got to admit, we weren't particularly successful at feeding them. They didn't want to come too close. So, what are you doing? I'm going to feed the ducks. You're going to feed the geese. ducks? Oh yeah, the angry geese. The angry geese. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's going too fast. They can't keep it. Oh, actually, that was pretty impressive though. Put some on the bank. What's this? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Try harder. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse. And the mouse looked good. 
Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. There he is. A bit better. No, it's the Gruffalo. Hello. You all right? Nice pony tail, pigtails, whatever. It's Fox. Why, Fox? Hello. Mate, you're scaring the fox away. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. He looks happy. Actually, he looks really angry. What? You've got your nut. What else do you want? Train track leading nowhere. So they had this little mine bit as well as the Gruffalo Trail and they also have an indoors sort of section as well. They have loads more actually. It was huge, it was much bigger than we thought it was gonna be. me taking shelter from the rain. No, don't fly away. I was gonna. Okay, class. Uh, I was hoping there'd be some sort of lesson here. Okay, let's have a quick flash quiz here. Please take your seats. Okay. It's not gonna carry up there, so Daddy. What this? <laughs> And one question, what is that object down there with the beads called? <laughs> what is Abacus. Correct. Well, that wasn't a totally abysmal performance class. It is now recess. Yes, it is a masterpiece. All right, Vicky. Queenie, Queenie. Delightfully British.
This is where you go to do your washing up. You do your washing with a bit of rain water. Yeah. HB Bulmer Limited, Cider Makers, Hereford. Weaponry. So now to the inside part of the centre. And this was the restaurant and they had all of these model cats on sale. Basically a lady had died and left them as part of her will to the Cats Trust and uh, so you could you know, buy them for a donation to the charity. So we picked up a few. And that's pretty much it for the holidays. So I'm gonna love you and leave you now, but thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that like button as well, and I will see you soon for more videos, mostly book related. Sometimes I have a life. <laughs>